All aboard the Heavy Duty Express. What's up, what's up, what's up, passengers? How y'all doing today? It's your boy, Heavy Duty. Coming at you with another muck bang thing. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, like to welcome y'all once again aboard the Heavy Duty Express, where we're always blessed, never stressed, and I'm always a mess. What can I say? And, uh, come on like share for me. One more time. Come and like share for me. And if you're new to the channel, if you would, run over to the subscribe button. Then hit the, not hit the notification bell. It's like all. That way, every time we upload a, upload a video or go live, you get a notification. You can come check me out. Y'all, I'm tongue twisted today. I guess my, 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 I eat these dill pickles while I was frying them a while ago. Y'all, my tongue was shoveled up with a lot of hard, hard to talk around. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go and pray. Then I'll tell you what, what the rest of this stuff is. Y'all ready? Our Heavenly Father, we come before you this time to thank you for this day, Lord. We thank you for all the blessings you've set upon us. Lord, we ask you to bless this meal for the nourishment of our body. We ask you to forgive us our sins and our shortcomings. We ask all these things in your Son Jesus' name. Amen, 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 y'all. Tomorrow's Monday, y'all. <laughs> the weekend is over. Sad, sad, sad lips. <laughs> hey, um, okay, so we got some fried fried dill pickles. I took them and sliced them up myself, so I think I got them a little too thin because some of them a little, uh, a little cooked a little too long. <laughs> but they still good, though. They got good flavor. They, you, you can still taste the pickle. All right, then we got some chicken cordon bleu. Homemade. No, just kidding. I didn't, I didn't make it, y'all. It can, you can get it at, uh, we got this at Sam's Club. You can get it, they come six to a box. It's like, I don't know, 12, 13 bucks for six of them, but they are delicious. It's chicken, I guess chicken breast, and inside is stuffed with cheese. I'm not sure what kind of cheese. I didn't read the box. I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, I'll, what I'll do is, when, when, before, when, when I edit the video tonight, I'll put in the description by well, in the description box what kind of cheese because you can you can make these at home. I can make these if I if I done it, but buying them is just so much easier. <laughs> All right, but uh, but yeah, they got cheese and ham stuffed on the inside, and y'all they're so delicious. And over to the side, I got some barbecue ranch. Took some ranch dressing, mixed a little barbecue sauce with it to dip my uh, fried dill pickles and my chicken cordon bleu in. So, uh, we finna get to it, y'all. What you reckon? Y'all want a dill pickle? Yum, yum. Mm-hmm. I love me some fried dill pickles, y'all. Kind of crunchy, too, huh? Some of them. First place I ever tried um, fried dill pickles. <laughs> Excuse me. Fried dill pickles was at Hooters in Horn Lake, Mississippi. Me and a buddy of mine, he was, um, I was working at McDonald's. He was working at a shop. He's a mechanic, and um, I went up there to see him for something. I was picking something up, and um, he said, "Well, I'm going on lunch. You want you want to go you want to go grab something to eat?" And I said, well, "I said, well, I mean, where where are you going?" He said, "Probably probably go over to Hooters and get some get some wings." I'm like. Hell yeah. I'll, I'll go over to Hooters. Ha ha ha. Hey. Yes, sir. I'll go to Hooters. Um, of course, like, like I said, this was back when I was like, I don't know, 18, 19. Back when I was real young. But anyway, we go up there and I got the fried dill pickles and some wings, of course. But they brought them jokers out there with some, um, with some ranch dip, with some ranch dipping sauce, 
and oh my goodness, I fell in love, and I ain't never been able to cook them like them. I don't know, hey, that recipe that they got, hey, I, I, I need to get it. So, if anybody knows the recipe to Hooters fried dill pickle chips, I need it, please. <laughs> Mm. That's it. Don't want to buy the chicken. Get a little sauce on that for you. Y'all want to bite? Yum yum. Mmm. That is what's up. Hey y'all, guess what? Bubba's in the house! What's up, Bubba? Bubba, what's up, Andrews? Long time no see. Had to take me another vacation. <laughs> but I got broke. I ain't come on with that stimulus check yet. <laughs> well, hey, they, they, hey, I read somewhere where it's supposed to be on Biden's desk by Wednesday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe Thursday, something like that. And when he signs it, Within a couple days, I'll start sending it out. So then you can go back on vacation if you want to. Alright. <laughs> ah. Mmm. Mmm. <coughs> Give me, y'all. Mmm. Excuse me. Oh, burp. Got some good old Dr. Pepper in right, y'all. Y'all know me. I like that Dr. Pepper. And y'all also know me. I love me some chicken. Love it, love it, love it. Mmm. Mmm. That was. Gonna do some fried green beans to go with it. But I didn't have the right kind of green beans. So I'm gonna have to do them another time. Maybe do like a little. Yeah. I know I said something about I'm going to do a QA. and a That's what I'll do. I'll do a QA and a And not really be an eating. Like a meal thing. But just a little snack stuff like fried dill pickles. Um, fried green beans. Just a little, little snack stuff like that. To snack on while I'm answering answering questions. What y'all think about that? Tell you what. Um Go ahead and set a date to do it. See, today is the seventh. So let's just say one week from today. So next Sunday is when I will do the actual Q and A video. So, if y'all would, in between, and I'll make, a, I'll make a community post about it too, um, and I'm, I'm going to do, try to do a couple lives this week, um, y'all send me some questions, because I know we, since the last time that one was done, was when me and lady me and lady boss was still together, but not too long after we after we got started. So I know we all are new people. So yeah, if y'all if y'all want to, if y'all want to get in with it, um, y'all got something y'all want to know, would like to know, y'all send me a question. You can either put it in the comment box of of this video comments of this video. Or you can, um, 
I'm gonna make a community post. I'll probably put the community post up tomorrow. Well, yeah, it'll be up probably not too long, if not b before, definitely not too long after y'all see this video. So, yeah, if y'all want to, like I said, go ahead and send me your questions and and then next Saturday is when I actually re record the video. I think no, next Sunday is when I record the video, and it'll be out next Monday. Mmm. Let me try dill pickles. Also, you know. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Whoo! Boy, that wing challenge. I, I, and I said, I, I show, of course. I think. <coughs> All the ones that I kind of watch and associate with on YouTube other other mukbangers they was already doing it so I didn't have anybody else to challenge and I ain't gonna lie to you I, I forgot about it but yeah I didn't challenge anybody but it was rough y'all I ain't gonna lie to you I got down when I liked them last two, three, and four. Oh, wait. I wanted this hat. <laughs> mm, ooh. No good crunchy one right there. Mmm. Give me y'all. Sorry about that. I knew it was gonna be a big one. That's why I keep kept my mouth closed. <laughs> mm. Yeah, these chicken cordon bleu. They're awesome, y'all. Awesome. Mm. Oh, hey, guess what? Mm -hmm. I went back, was looking through some older videos, lips. And um, he did. It was by the PR gang challenged him to do a hundred vanity sausage, and he did seventy-seven. I think it is seventy-seven. Kicking and screaming. <laughs> and hey, after after fifty six, which is what I think, uh, um, PR gang got. I don't remember his name. Um, dang, dang, dang. Um, anyway, uh, he got fifty six, and when Liz got that ate that fifty seventh one. After that, he started kicking and screaming. <laughs> and he wanted to finish it. But he, he didn't have room. I ain't gonna lie to you. That was that. that it does sound kind of a hundred, a hundred. 
Mm, give me Riley sausages. Mm, come on. I'm gonna try it though. Cause I really think I can be live. Even if it's only 78. <laughs> I got some vitamins in there now, but I don't have enough. I think I only got. I count on. I think there's 12 cans. So that'd be what? 84. That'd be enough to beat him, but I want to have the whole 100 on hand just in case I can't do it. I'm about there, y'all. Earlier, I made a mistake. <laughs> I ate some, um, little weenies. They're little, they're called Frankfurters, I think is the name of them. The little weenies is connected on the, the string of weenies. I love them. The red ones. Oh my goodness. Y'all. Little story time. Quick. Um, Back when I was a kid. I mean, I'm talking about. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight years old. We lived in Walls, Mississippi. And down 301 Highway, when you get to the end of it at 61, up in Memphis, that got a little, or used to be a little store. Actually, I think the store is still there, but it's not the same people to have it. They're, they're dead and gone. But the, the name of the store was Lucky's, okay? Back before I was born, when my uncle Charlie was a little 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 boy, um, I, th I think that's when they lived there. Anyway, my grandmother and granddaddy used to live in a house right behind that store. So, um, my granddaddy he used to run do pet uh, run pedal vegetables, fruits and vegetables out of an old station wagon car that he had. We would ride around all around. What is DeSoto and, um, let's see, DeSoto County and probably Tate County to uh, Tunica County or, um, and just all around in that area selling fruits and vegetables. Well, one of the stops that we made was there at that store, at that Lucky's. And the, the guys that, were the, that worked in the meat department, I think one of his name was Reese. And I don't remember the other one. I, th I think, and I ain't for sure about the Reese. But, um, oh, excuse me. Every time we went in there, I wanted a hot dog. And they, every time, and, and it got to where he wouldn't even have to buy them. When, I, when we went in there, they would give me a couple of hot dogs, a couple of them little 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 weenies, and they're called her. They they used to call them little weenies, I guess. I, I mean that's what we always called them anyway. Country folk, you know what I'm saying? Um. But yeah, those and then I like I, on this same um venture with my grandfather, we would stop by uh. There's this old old black lady. She lived out in I think around Tunica. Somewhere around down there. Anyway, she lived next to the railroad tracks, and we we 
so, uh, like I said, fruits and vegetables, all kinds. I don't, I don't remember what all, what all she bought. I mean, there's, there's a bunch of, bunch of houses down there that we, we that we stopped at. But th this lady right here, she fished all the time. I'm talking about every. I, I think she went fishing every day. I mean, because there, 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 it was right down the street from a big lake down there. So. Every time we went over there, I would carry her. I mean, I, I, we'd get home in the afternoons. I would go outside and dig up earthworms, weren't fishing worms, and take them to her. I'd take her a bowl of fishing worms. Of course, we had some dirt in there too to keep them alive. Cause they, they can't survive without dirt. So, I'd take her up the little box of fishing worms and she would give me a silver dollar every time I took her box of fishing worms which was about twice a week so for uh, I, when when I got older I had a nice little nice little collection of silver dollars that I got from selling selling that old lady fishing worms and like a lot of things lost in my addiction um but yeah I, I remember we had a bunch of bunch of good times riding around and setting up, setting up on the side of the road, selling fruits and vegetables and stuff. It was fun. I mean, cause me, I never met my dad. I've never seen him. Never sent a picture of him. Never talked to him on the phone. Nothing. Um, so, my grandfather was my father figure, and hanging out with him, doing that kind of stuff, that what I was right up my alley. Good old days, y'all. You know, some of the stuff you remember sometimes from back in your childhood just comes back. I was thinking about that the other day. Because, I see, this is March. Next month, on the 29th, we'll see, 1995, 2005, 2015, that's 20, 25, 26, 26 years, the 29th, the next month, my granddad had been, he died in 1995. So, been a long time. Mm. Coming like a chef, him. What I say? Coming like a chef, him. I don't need to do that, do I? That's just too loud. I'm sorry, y'all. I ain't trying to blow y'all's ears drums out. Mmm. Y'all, I'm... I'm gonna eat the last of chicken. That's for sure. Mmm. I may regret it later. Mmm.
That's what went right. Covered up with sauce. Mm. I'm done. Four thirty. Oh, it. Whoo! Full of the take on a hundred pound dog butt. I'm talking about. I ain't gonna eat this though. <laughs> <coughs> Ooh. What y'all reckon about some daily bread? <coughs> what y'all reckon about some daily bread? <coughs> Let's see. Alright, let's see. Today is Sunday, March the 7th. The title for today is Pleading with God. The reading comes from Daniel 9, verse 1 through 5, and 17 through 19. It says up at the top, I, Daniel, understand from the scriptures. So I turn to the Lord, the Lord God, and pleaded with him in prayer and petition. That's Daniel 9, 2, verses 3. I mean, not Daniel 9, verse 2 and 3. Ooh, excuse me. Oh, burp, y'all. Excuse me. Sorry. Whew. Got a little bit more room now, but I'm, I'm still done. <laughs> a family's prayer time ended with a surprising announcement one morning. As soon as Dad said Amen, five-year-old Caitlin proclaimed, and I prayed for Logan because he had his eyes open during prayer. <laughs> I'm pretty sure praying for your 10-year-old brother's prayers, brother's prayer protocol isn't what Scripture has in mind when it calls us to... I promise, the problem was with this earlier. Inter, intercessory... Prayer, but at least Caitlin realized that we can pray for others. Bible teacher Oswald Chambers emphasized the importance of praying for someone else. He said that intercession is putting yourself in God's place. It is it is it is having his mind and perspective. It's praying for others in light of what we know about God and his love for us. We find a great example of intercessory prayer in Daniel 9. The prophet understood God's troubling promise that the Jews would have 70 years of captivity in Babylon. Realizing that those years were nearing their completion, Daniel went into prayer mode. He referenced God com God's commands humbled himself, honored his character, confessed sin, and depended on his mercy as he prayed for his people. And he got an immediate answer from God. Not all prayer dramatic response, but be encouraged that we can go to God on behalf of others with an attitude of trust and dependence on him. And that's true. I mean, God... He encourages, as, as you see, I mean, he encourages us to pray for others. I mean, because it's it's like, as and, and you know, I mean, it's not, I, I know it's not all about me. You know, I mean, you see somebody struggling, you're going to pray for them. I mean, somebody hurting, you're going to pray for them. Somebody in need, I mean, you're going to help them, but you're going to pray for them too. I mean, that's, that's what this is, that's what... 
that, that God smiles on that. When you pray for somebody else, you're putting somebody else's needs, wants, thoughts, whatever, above your own and showing God that where your heart really is. Um, today's reflecting prayer says, Dear Heavenly Father, help me to know you better so that when I pray for others, I can filter my request through my knowledge of your will. Amen. Definitely. I mean, just know that God definitely smiles on on you for praying for other people. So, I mean, if y'all want to go back and read this, uh, oops, I locked it, y'all. Um, it's Daniel 9, verse 1 through 5, and then verse 17 through 19. Y'all check it out and see what y'all think. So, I'm finna get on down. I done got my belly full. I'm finna chill out for a little while. And get this thing uploaded or edited and uploaded so y'all can see it. But, um, y'all, like I said, I'm finna go. I love y'all. Y'all stay safe. Stay blessed. And... Thank you once again for coming aboard the Heavy Duty Express, where we're always blessed, never stressed, and I'm always a mess. And uh, until next time, may y'all stay blessed, never stressed, and try to stay out of a mess. But if you do get one, always remember, call on the good Lord, he'll help you through it, if you only believe. So yeah, I'm gone, y'all. Um, I will, if you want, well, I mean, I say if you want. I will put the recipe of how you can make the chicken cordon bleu. Of course, I mean fried dill pickles. That's just doing like you do a little uh, dipping in some flour with some seasoning in it, fried up. It's some good stuff. But I will put, uh, put that in there too. So, um, yeah, y'all be good. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Love yourself. Love one another. Be happy. Just be happy, y'all. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all be good. I love y'all. See you next time. Mwah. Peace.